Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 2, Nintendo Switch, ROM hacks, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. All hail the blue cube. Aether SX2 just got a brand new update, but not on the Google Play Store. So the early access or testing or development or experimental version of Aether SX2, depending on how you want to classify it, is the one that got the update. You can pick it up over at AetherSX2.com 100% free. Just click on Downloads, click on Close Testing Alpha, choose the top folder here and pick it up right here, 3290. Now, if you previously picked up the testing version of Aether SX2, the only update here is a bug fix. However, if you're currently running the Google Play Store version of Aether SX2, there might be a performance improvement here for you. But it is worth pointing out that these are testing builds. Some stuff might not work as anticipated, some stuff might be broken. But if you're aching for some performance or trying to test out some new features, check out the testing build of Aether SX2. And speaking about new builds, we're still talking about Android here, but switching over to Nintendo Switch emulation with Skyline. And if you head to skyline-emu.1 and click on download, there's a brand new mainline version available, version 1550. Now, as much as people are excited about Skyline Edge, the testing build of Skyline, the mainline build gets Skyline Edge changes roughly one to two weeks after they go live in Skyline Edge. So you might want to keep your eyes open on the mainline build of Skyline because it's getting better. Next up, we're going back in time a little bit and talking about the NES, specifically a brand new ROM hack. This one is currently in beta and hasn't been finished just yet. There are some bugs, but it's called Super Mario Bros. 3 Plus. If you're interested in it, I'll leave a link to this Twitter in the description below and feel free to check it out. Once finished, this ROM hack will make its way over to romhacking.net, but for the time being, it's only available on Twitter. And thanks to GBA Temp here, we know exactly what's in it. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below as well. At a high level here, Super Mario Bros. 3 Plus brings about some old and new techniques. You can play as Mario, Toad, Peach, or Luigi like you could in Super Mario Bros. 2. And you can also wall jump now like you can in recent games. On top of that, this ROM hack works with actual hardware, so it might be worth checking out. Next up here, we're talking about another ROM hack on the NES, and this one's called The Last Armageddon. This is just an English translation of a Japanese game. Last Armageddon is a post-apocalyptic RPG. If you've never played it before, well, now you can play it in English. And last up here, we're talking about something very interesting. It's a brand new game currently in development, and it's being created by Takiya Imamura. I might have butchered that name. This person designed Fox McCloud, Falco, Captain Falcon, the entire cast of Majora's Mask, including Tingle, and more. This game is reportedly going to be a text adventure game with some battle scenes as well. It's a very interesting concept overall and being created by a very notable artist. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.